Okay, assalamu alaikum. In this video, I will show you how you can update uh, Magento inventory using the REST API. And we're using Postman for this. Now, first of all, I want to note down the URL, which is this one. You copy this URL and you go there in Postman. I have already created these uh, 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 test scenarios and I will be sending you those. So first of all, we have to create our environment here. If we click on this button and go to uh, Abazir Magento, I will actually send this environment to you and you just have to import from here, okay? <clears throat> what is in this in environment? Three things, the URL, okay? and the username and password which we will be using and is here first of all the first step the first api is that i have to get the access token which is which will be used in all the uh, apis so the first test i will do is first magento url this is actually the variable that we added in the uh, in the uh, environment it will automatically put the whole url which is the site url into uh, into this that we have this all v1 integration admin token username here it will get the username which is as you can see adil.arabi okay and then after the password it will it will take the password from the environment and put it here automatically okay we just have to pass these two uh, parameters to this URL, all v1 integration admin token, okay? You can also see here that I'm adding these parameters, okay? So it doesn't matter if, you, if you're adding them here or if you're adding them here, it's the same thing, okay? If you add them here, uh, Postman will add the uh, parameters here one by one. So now I'm going to send a request, send. Whenever you do that, the Magento site will give you this token. Now, what you have to do is you have to copy this token, right? And now you go to the API, Magento products. And here, what we will do is we'll go to authorization. And in authorization, we'll select bear token. Remember, previously, we were using uh, uh, the basic uh, auth username and password, but no will change now. For better security, we will use the uh, bearer token, this one, and we'll copy paste the token here. Remember, this is the token that we received here in our first uh, API call. And now in the second API call, we're copy pasting the token here. Okay, I'll save this. And this is the URL, full uh, URL here. Okay, and then after it, we want criteria page size 10, which is actually the parameter here. Okay, we're telling that, okay, we only want 10 products at a time. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to send this request. And here down, it's giving me the list of products. Okay, I'm going to copy the SKU for the first product here, which is this. I'll copy and then I'll go to the next API call, which is update stock. Now, first of all, we need to update the token. This is the old token. So I'll copy token. Yes. I'll, I will put the new token here and save. Yes. Okay. This is the new token. And now uh, I will copy the SKU and put it here. Okay. So this is the SKU in the URL. So this is the URL of the site, the whole site. Uh, keep in mind, again, this is a variable, so don't worry about it. Uh, we have defined this variable here in the environment, here, okay? Uh, and uh, then V1 products, the SKU is this one, okay? And we're putting it here, and then we have to put this one, stock items one. Now, 
very important thing here is to go to body and add this JSON. Okay, this is the JSON which uh, we're telling that we want to update the quantity to 40. Now, if I open the website, now I have the quantity to 40. I want to change this from 40 to 50. So I will go here and 50 and click on save. And before uh, sending this request, just keep in mind that if you go to headers, your content type is application JSON. This is very important, okay? And now I will send. When I click on send, it will give me a response. Response code, response code two, which means that, okay, it is updated. Now, if I go here on the site, I'll refresh the page. And see, the quantity now has been updated. This is the same as SKU. Okay, now here, if you want to change it to 20, send. Now here on the website, I'll refresh the page. See, this is changed to 20 now. So what I'm gonna, going to uh, export this collection and send it to you so you can test it quickly in JSON. Okay, I'm exporting this. And yes, save. Yeah, all right. I'll put it at the ERP, yes. And I'll go to the environment. I'll download the environment for you so you can simply import, save. So what do you have to do from your side? It's very easy. You have to, to test it. You have to click on new collection. And here, I'm sorry, not here. You have to go to uh, file. Here, import, I'm sorry. You have to click on import and choose files. And in downloads, select the, uh, let me do it as list, yes. Yes, this is the collection, okay? Just open it and all of these uh, on the left side will come to your postman. And then if you want to import uh, the environment, it's very easy. You click on import, choose file, and select on environment. And the username and password and the URL will automatically come to you. And you can test this in your postman. Keep in mind that when you are uh, test when after this test, when you are doing it, implementing this in uh, in your application, you have to replace this URL with the URL of the site. This one, okay. And this is for only for staging. Afterward, once you do a successful test, we'll uh, put the original, which we'll be sending to you. Good luck and let me know if you have any questions.